Hi guys and welcome to Moto Scotty. In this video I'm gonna tell and show you all I know about finding the right parts or sourcing the right parts for your Pony Firebird restoration and conversion into a kit replica. Let me just give you one advice before we dive into the subject. A proper kit replica is expensive. It can be very expensive. So you're gonna put money into mechanics of the car, into the, the body, the interior, the, the, the paint properly, and that's all before touching the Knight Rider related stuff. So please do your research before you get into that project. I, for example, made myself a spreadsheet and I put everything on for the exterior, the mechanics, the body, the interior stuff, the Knight Rider related parts and work so I could get a rough estimation of what this project was actually going to cost me. Let's start with the Firebird Trans Am parts that are not only related to Knight Rider. Well, if you live in North America, you have plenty of choices. I mean, you have your O'Reilly, Napa, AutoZone and other companies that either have shops, physical shops all over the continent and uh, the USA and also in Canada, maybe in Mexico. I don't, I'm not sure about Mexico. But uh, then you can also order them or most of them also uh, offer the possibility to order online. I have never bought any parts from either of these companies, from Napa, AutoZone, uh, O'Reilly, because I live in Europe and to my knowledge you can't order anything from them or they, they wouldn't ship over to Europe. What I do know and what I have used is Rock Auto and that's, this is an American company also and for us Europeans, also for Americans I think, but especially for us Europeans, it's a fantastic company to find parts to restore especially American classic cars or even newer cars because they don't only sell parts for American cars but for us Europeans, it's really convenient just to go in their store and uh, find the exact car that uh, you're working on and get all these parts and they have the website in different languages and currencies and they have an excellent customer service because I have had two cases where I needed to complain. I, the first one I mentioned in my last video about the aftermarket front fenders I bought there, which were kind of warped and bent, didn't fit correctly. And then also the fuel tank that I bought, I bought a new Spectra fuel tank and the fuel filler neck was welded on a couple of degrees about further down. So, I mean, it, it didn't fit properly in the car. And also the side metal lip of the tank wasn't bent down the way it sh should have in order to fit up into the car. So long story short, I complained. They refunded me the full price of what those parts cost me and usually you have to send it back but because sending it back shipping would cost me more than what I would actually get back from them, they allowed me to keep it. That's it. So excellent customer service. And one thing to know if, if you are in Europe or other places or not in the US or Canada, very likely you might have uh, like shipping costs, it's going to be expensive or can be expensive and also import taxes depending on your country. And what works really well with Rock Auto that you can see anytime you order something that they show you uh, from what warehouse the specific parts are coming from. And the more you order from parts from the, that is located in the same warehouse, the more the shipping costs will actually come down. So I'm not encouraging you by any means to just buy more stuff from them. I'm just telling you or giving you the advice that if you know that you're gonna order more parts um, and you have the means to, to order a bunch of parts at the same time, then I would recommend to do that because not only will you cut down on shipping costs, but also additional freight uh, taxes that might apply in your country. Another thing with Rock Auto is that they will eventually give you a discount code after you've ordered a couple of parts uh, at their shop, they will send you usually a 5% discount code. And they're happy for you to share it with anyone else um, to buy from them. So it's not something that they really want you to keep for yourself. You can also, but you don't need to necessarily wait for Rock Auto to, to buy a few things so that they send you a discount code. You can just also Google discount code Rock Auto and you will find one that works. There's always enough people around who share those codes. And uh, I mean, 5% is not huge but I mean, five percent is five percent it's take it or leave it summit racing is a other company that uh, offers loads of uh, parts performance parts just mechanical parts aftermarkets upgrade parts um, 
I actually have never bought anything from them, but I was about to because as I was redoing the rear brakes, I was just spinning the axles and uh, I thought that they were kind of warped. It didn't look like they were running quite straight. So I thought that I was in for a new pair of uh, rear axles and they had those. I didn't, I couldn't find them on Rock Auto. Summit Racing has those axles, but I, I ended up not buying them because as I put everything back together in the car with the brakes, I found out that they were actually perfectly straight. So there was no reason for me to buy new axles. Classic Industries is another, as the name suggests, American car parts so for classic cars i mean by now you can basically count on the third generation f body to be a classic car and i was about to order a new or reproduction rear bumper cover obviously i changed from the 1990 model year to the 82 to 84 model year rear bumper style and i couldn't really find a nice original example at a decent price so i saw that they were offering also reproduction bumper covers the only thing that stopped me from buying a classic Industries is that, uh, or was that the shipping costs were actually very, very high, which is often the case when you buy something from overseas. In that process, I actually went on eBay and found a, the same exact uh, reproduction rear bumper cover for 82 Firebird Trans Am from a vendor called The Parts Place, but on eBay also obviously the vendor The Parts Place. The price was about the same, but the shipping costs were only about $60 US dollars. So how can they make that so cheap to, to ship this all over the place from the US to Switzerland? But somehow they just sent stuff in bulk. It takes a bit longer. Maybe it might have taken two weeks. I don't remember exactly, but it didn't matter if it would take two weeks or three weeks for the bumper to get there because at that time, I was just doing all the mechanical uh, restoration part, so I didn't, I, I wasn't going to put that bumper on for another few months. And while I'm on eBay, I mean eBay, a lot of vendors sell their stuff either on their website directly or also through eBay. Oftentimes, what you can find from the same vendor, same product on eBay is a bit more expensive than directly from their website. That's just, I mean, because everyone has to take their commission. The The positive side, I, I think, about eBay is that you have uh, sort of uh, guarantees behind it because, you know, eBay is a secure place and you have ratings about the vendors. You can kind of gauge whether that vendor is, uh, you can trust him or you think you will get a proper good part from them back or not. If other people have had bad experience with that vendor, you be more likely to say, oh, I'm not going to buy from them or I am going to buy uh, from that vendor if, if that vendor had good reviews. Whereas on the website, if you don't know by experience or by recommendation, you just don't know. Long story short, eBay is not always the cheapest, but you have a really good payment or secure payment system behind it. And also the logistics is usually secured. Another specific seller I can recommend on eBay is Campfire Dave or Campfire Dave 12, I guess now. I bought two parts from him, the 82 Trans Am taillights and the uh, fog light button and the bezel that goes with it for the three buttons in the, on the dashboard. And I couldn't recommend him higher because, I mean, he sells all kinds of third gen stuff and it's really well packaged. And I thought the prices were fair and the communication with him was great. So go check him out. Third gen Ranch. That's another company that obviously only sells parts for third generation Fiber and Camaro. And I bought brake lines from them. As a matter of fact, uh, some of my brake lines were rusty. I had already changed out their lines, the hoses, but not the brake lines. And some of them were rusty and broke. So uh, instead of making some myself, I, they offer stainless steel and uh, steel ones pre-formed already and uh, it's really well packaged like they have to bend the longer ones but they put stickers on markings where you have to bend it back straight so that worked out fine for me I mean I bought the whole set and installed them and they fit and painted the whole thing so yep check them out too then there's that other company that is specialized in uh, original used Pontiac Parts, Frank's Pontiac Parts in the Californian desert, I believe they have been around for over 30 years. So they do Pontiac and Pontiac only, no Chevy or, or Buick or whatever GM. They only do Pontiac and they also do the third generation fiber Trans Am. So at, in November 2017, I found a 
turbo bulge hood or formula formula hood is whatever you want to name it the kit hood and they had one for two hundred dollars in pretty good shape so i went ahead and contacted them and bought it so the thing about frank's pony parts is that they do have an ebay shop but they don't sell all of the parts on ebay the larger items i think you have to call them and arrange shipping or pick it up there so if you are not residing in the us or, or canada it's a bit more tricky you have to organize shipping yourself so the thing that they helped they were actually really good they helped me organize shipping from the west coast in the us to the east coast to new jersey where i had organized storage and then shipping in a container over to uh, the netherlands and down to switzerland later on so i had organized the storage place in uh, new jersey so they are they helped me ship it over to from the west coast to the east coast and then they gave me all the paperwork i needed for for customs obviously and and that was it so the cool thing also is that they don't add any night rider tax on the night rider related stuff if they have the hood it will be the same price as the same condition uh, later model year transam hood or a standard fiber hood if it's uh, in a good condition hawks motorsports is also a household name for anything gm related or mostly Corvette, uh, Fiber, Camaro, and I think they also do some Cadillac stuff, but not like all of GM, but performance cars. And they sell aftermarket upgrade parts. They do a lot of parts themselves, especially also small uh, trim pieces for interior. They also sell complete cars, uh, salvage cars. So it's, uh, they have everything. The only thing is that as it stands for me, also being in Europe, they don't sell, they don't ship everything overseas. So they had hoods also, but they wouldn't send them over. So I guess if you really talk to them and organize shipping yourself, as I as I found out later then with uh, Frank's Pontiac parts, that uh, would work. But the only thing that I did order from them were the electric uh, side mirrors, because as you might remember, my car came with the rectangular plastic foldable mirrors, which were awful. So I found a set uh, at Hawks, a used set, and uh, they sent them over. I had them repainted anyways, and they worked fine. Just a few words also just on aftermarket parts in general. I mean, as you go through all of these vendors, many parts you will find the same uh, sold by different vendors. So it's not like they all make those parts. They just, some of them make them those parts. Some just are retailers to sell them on. And I made somewhere by other companies in the US, all over the world, in China. Who knows? <laughs> if you look closely, you'll find out. But anyways, just be mindful also there. Sometimes if, if you buy more expensive parts like body panels, like a, a fuel tank or other elements to do a little bit of your research, whether those parts will actually fit. If there are other people who have already bought them and uh, communicated out in the web to see whether those parts will actually work will they fit or also whether the company that sells them to you how they treat customer complaints and if you get the refunds if it's easy to sit, ship them back or just keep the part and uh, get the money back get the refund so this is just a selection of vendors that i'm bringing out to you i'm telling you letting you know there might be many more others i mean then if especially if you are in the north american continent you have junkyards everywhere that you can just go and see whether they would have parts original parts that would fit your car or be specific or kit replica um, ask friends i mean maybe there's a facebook or whatsapp group that uh, you want to join that can help you as a general advice if you give yourself some time to do the projects i mean i know eventually you want to get it done but it all takes time and it's also usually better because it'll give you time to find your good parts to build up your network to also you won't have to spend everything at once so these are just my two cents on that subject. Now that's it for part one. Click on the link in the corner or in the description box to watch part two, where I talk about the Night Rider related parts. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.